more login tutorial how to use more login for beginners hello everyone and welcome back in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys step by step on how you can stay protected with all of your accounts on more login more login is a tool which allows you to manage multiple accounts and have anti-detect browsers and cloud phones it allows you to stop being banned from platforms which don't allow you to create multiple accounts if you are someone that is using Amazon, TikTok, and you have multiple different seller accounts, or you're trying to promote new products and you have multiple different accounts, you can easily use all of them in one device using more login. You don't necessarily have to create five different accounts on five different devices. And even if you're not using them for promotion, or even if you're not using them for anything that is not uh, legal, it still is going to ban you because a lot of these platforms have now built different regulations on how many accounts one person can have. And more login allows you to bypass that and be safe and secure on any of these platforms. So let's get started. To get started, simply head on over to more login and then click on sign up. Once you click on sign up over here, you have to sign up by Google or your email address. We're going to be proceeding with Google for a quick and easy sign up process on their platform. Once we click on over here and we continue with our account, we're just going to verify our Google account and our account will be created. Once you do that, you have to download the application and log into your application to create your profiles. Now, you might wonder, hey, is more login compatible with my device? Well, they are compatible with almost all devices. They have a Android version, they have a Mac version, they have a Windows version. So I am currently on the Mac OS Apple Silicon. So I'm just going to download this application and it's going to take around two minutes for our download to be completed. You guys can see the Android version is still coming, but the Mac and Windows version is still, is currently live as well. And on their free version, you get two free permanent profiles. If I show you guys the pricing, you guys will understand what type of features you can get. So on the free version, you can create two profiles with two users where you have anti-detect browser profiles. You can set up support for Chrome and Firefox. You have real Canvas fingerprints, online technical support, as well as team collaboration and local APIs. Then on their pro version, you have upwards of 10 profiles and two users. We have 24-7 online supports. You have 24-7 online support where all the features on the free plan are included with no limits and customized profile purchases. Then you can set up your own customized purchasing as well if you want additional profiles. Now, you can also increase the number of profiles in their pro version so depending on your use case you can select how many profiles you are going to need and how many users are included within your team so the number of users and profiles determines how much you're going to pay by the standard two users and 10 profiles you're only going to pay nine dollars a month and you can get upwards of 40 percent off when you are subscribing for a yearly plan so if you're on the yearly plan, you can get really low prices. And if you're someone that is just trying the platform out, you can use the free version and then choose to upgrade as your business scales up or as your use scales up. Now, we're just going to wait for this to be completed. And you guys can see there are several different use cases for more logins, such as affiliate marketing, e-commerce, crypto, ticketing traffic arbitrage, social media, and more. And once your application is complete, you're gonna click on your top right where you have your application, and then you're just going to agree to their terms of service. Once you agree to their terms of service, you're gonna have a dialog box, and I'm just gonna wait for this dialog box to close up so I can actually show it to you guys as well. Now, our application has now been completely downloaded, and you guys can see this is our simple setup where we're going to drag the application into the applications tab. Now it has been installed. You can see it's copying itself to applications and this can take a couple of minutes. It doesn't take a really long time. It can take, you know, 60 seconds or something. And then you can just click on the application in your applications tab to open up this application. Now we're just going to click on open and our application is present on the bottom. And this is the more login application. 
Now I'm going to sign in with Google because I already have created my account. I am logging in. If you don't have your account, you can click on sign up for free as well. I'm logging into my account by selecting the same Gmail address that I previously used. And once I've done that, this will open up the account on the application as well. Now, once our account setup has been initiated, we're going to choose what we're using more login for. So I want to use this for multiple e-commerce platforms like eBay and how many accounts I have, less than 50. And primarily, I found out via YouTube and now I can click on new profile and set up our new profile. So on our first profile, it will show you our profile name. Let's say this is going to be my Spencer profile. And then we have our action, which is start. And you can fingerprint browsers and you can push as a proxy or use one. You can see on the left, you have proxies. You can click on add proxy if you have individual or batches. Then you have your trash extensions, automation of your profiles, and then your team. Now, once we have added one particular profile, we can click on accounts over here. Once we click on account, we can choose the platform that we want. So for example, if I have a YouTube account, I can enter the username, log in the password, add the 2FA key and the cookies to add my accounts. So as an example, let's add one simple account over here. We have Shopify, Lazada, Amazon Wish, Walmart. So you have a lot of different uh, platforms out there, a lot of the basic ones. And if you can't see the platform that you are using more login for, you can actually click on customized platforms to add your own customized platforms as well. And I am just going to proceed with Shopify. We're going to enter our username, which is actually linked to our email address. So I'm just going to be entering my email. Then you add your login password and your 2FA key. Then we're going to remove password protection. And then I'm just going to click on confirm and our account has been added. Now, if I click on over here, I can add, you know, once our account has been added, I can click on start and we have our initializing. Our action has been started and a dedicated network is provided. And now you will see on their bottom right, you will have more logins, Chrome extension. You have your basic information, your IP, your zip code, and all other information. So you can proceed with using your accounts and you can actually change your location for different accounts. Now it says the status for my particular account is ready and I can click on start to start using my account as a different login. You have your identity session, you have your Shopify login, which has popped up and it's going to log in by default. You can protect your passwords with a screen lock as well if you want. I'm not gonna be using that and I can just proceed with any of my accounts from here. So if I want, I can click on new profile and start adding a new profile. However, this is the limitation on their free version. You can only add upwards of two profiles with two users. So I have one profile and then just one more, and that would be my complete threshold of profiles. You can see you can create them for Mac OS, Windows, Android, iOS, or even bulk import your profiles if you do have them. You also have your cloud phone profiles, which you can set up as proxies, where you can match IPs or set up custom time zones, languages, and locations for a different experience on your accounts. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you have any questions or queries, you can leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say.